Hello everyone, my name is Carisha Washington and I am a MD-PhD student at the University of Florida. So I'm in my third year of the MD-PhD program, which means that I've done the first two years of medical school and now I am pursuing my PhD in epidemiology. So some may ask, why the MD-PhD program? Well, I'm gonna start off with why medicine. So I was born in Okinawa, Japan, and at that time, I was not breathing when I was first born. And it really concerned my parents. My dad was overseas um, to serve in the military. And it was just us. And my parents will always tell me about the physicians that were there that really encouraged them and helped them through that tough time. So that's always just inspired me to go into the medical field to give back and to help families like those physicians helped my parents and me. And so... I grew up doing like science fair projects and just different hobbies. I've always loved to act, but it wasn't until my 11th grade year in high school where my chemistry teacher um, just saw my potential and saw how well I was doing her class. And she recommended for me to apply to a research program that LSU Shreveport had for students. I'm from Louisiana. And... I applied to the program and thankfully I was able to get in. And so this program was designed for 10 students every year in high school to go and conduct research at Louisiana's um, State University Health Science Center in Shreveport. And it was a phenomenal opportunity, actually like one of the turning points in my, I guess you could say, early academic career. And that's where I really fell in love with research. And at the time, I was about to go into my senior year and my grandmother started living with me and she was beginning to have early signs of dementia. And that was really, really impactful for me because at that time, the research I was conducting was on Alzheimer's disease. So the potential to possibly end her suffering through the research really just inspired me to keep going back during college. Um, I went to school at LSU in Baton Rouge and I was four hours away from home but every summer I want to go back and continue that research because I found it that astonishing and that powerful to have such an impact on people I know people in my community as well and so um I heard about the MD PhD program maybe the summer before my senior year of college and I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna apply because I couldn't envision my life doing medicine without research because I saw that research was truly the way to advance medicine and make true change. So at that time I was um, majoring in microbiology and I applied to MD PhD programs with my interest being to pursue a PhD in microbiology. But it was so interesting. At the University of Florida when I was doing my interview, one of the interview panelists um, she was listening to me discuss how there are different microbes that can affect lower income communities and um, countries that are still, um, as some would say, are developing. And she asked me, Has you, have you ever considered epidemiology? You just sound like you, you care or interested in the science behind the microbiology, but you're really interested and passionate about the people that are being affected by these microbes, these microorganisms. And this was in January of 2020. And I was like, okay, this, you know, I'll look into it. Little did I know that the pandemic would happen and that I would just be, just honestly, just the amount of disparities that COVID has shown or just like highlighted and brought to the surface, surface um, that are just so prevalent. I'm in fact affecting black people, Hispanic people, low income, just anyone. It really just was astonishing um, to me and pretty heartbreaking. And so this is what drove me to pursue a PhD in epidemiology is to really um, drive change in my community and for other communities that are disadvantaged. So right now I am pursuing a PhD in epidemiology, but a specific focus on cancer epidemiology and looking at the racial and ethnic disparities in cancer survival. So I'm looking at ovarian cancer, lung cancer, 
colorectal cancer and trying to see how to improve not only survivorship, but actually to improve primary prevention strategies as well so we can truly end cancer. And my um, future goals are to be a radiation oncologist and I really see that oncology is built so much on clinical research and clinical trials. That's why I want to actually pursue the PhD so I can be equipped with the tools necessary to truly understand how to do ethical research, how to do community-based research, clinical research, and to just work better with communities as well so we can implement this true change. Um, so I encourage anyone who's interested in the MD PhD program to go after it. It is such a great opportunity. Um, I don't know if many know this, but the MD PhD program, um, many are NIH funded and others are university funded. And this is where you don't have to pay medical school tuition and you can also um, get a stipend depending on what university you go to. And then you just get to conduct research and get to implement this true change. You're not only seeing patients um, at the bedside, but you can take the data you gave from patients and see them at the bench side or see them um, as you're doing data analysis or whatever research methods. So you are not only affecting that one individual, but you're affecting populations and generations to come. And that is why I'm pursuing the MD PhD program. If anyone has any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It's such a great opportunity and wishing you all the best. Go research, go medicine, go advancing communities. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more academy related content, then please subscribe to the PhD Place YouTube channel.